Alrighty, yo, what is going on? If you your boy, Mr. DDG, done for it. Back with another reaction video today. We finna react to top 10 funniest fails of. Top 10 funniest NFL fails of all time. It's about Watch Mojo. Without further ado, let's get right into it. It's got the accuracy, it's got the distance. Martin Gramatica. One more day, and then we finally get some NFL to play. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest NFL fails. Taylor can't stop him either. And it's a second touchdown in the last two minutes of the game by the Patriots defense. <laughs> and a conversion on third and goal by San Francisco. And Davis is rejected <laughs> by the crossbar. Jeremy Macklin toughing it out, doing everything he can for the oh, no. single team today. And Oh no, not the Gatorade. So Damn, nigga, we gotta list, drink that. We'll be looking at fails occurring in games. On the butt fumble. Gaps, misplays, <laughs> accidents, miscues, or anything else along those lines. Which fail made you laugh the hardest? The butt fumble. In the comments. Oh, the homie running it back the wrong way. Content, oh, be sure to check yeah, out I remember Watch that. New podcast, the Water Boys podcast, available wherever you get your That's podcast. a touchback. Number 10. Deshaun Jackson drops the ball early. Oh, uh, yeah. Reason hubris exists in the world. Eagles receiver Deshaun Jackson scored what looked to be his first touchdown in the NFL. McNabb loading up deep for Deshaun Jackson. He hold it in. Oh, wow. Did he get over the goal line? Did he get over the goal line? Yes, he did. Touchdown. After catching a pass from quarterback Donovan McNabb, Jackson got a little ahead of himself and jettisoned the ball before actually crossing into the end zone. Watches very closely. He has secured the football. That's a fumble. I saw it live and it didn't look right, and you just can't do that. This little oopsie caused the touchdown to be called back with the ball placed on the one yard line. Did After there. review, the runner lost control of the football prior to going to the end zone. By rule, the ball was allowed to Philadelphia on the one yard line, first and goal. This misplay should serve as a reminder to cross your T's, dot your I's, and throw the ball down in triumph after you've crossed into the end zone. Facts. Number nine, the double doink. Doink Ooh. is more than just a funny word. It's the sound made when a football hits off the cold steel of an end zone upright. And, oh, he hits the upright again. That's impossible. Damn, it's even the mascot couldn't Cody believe Parkey it. heard when attempting a game-winning field goal in the NFC wildcard game against the Eagles in 2019. The ball soared through the air, hooking left, where it ricocheted off the upright, hit the crossbar, and then finally the ground. The bizarre miss meant the end to the Bears season. Yeah, it looks like it bounced off the crossbar as well. Oh my goodness. The Bears season's going to end on a double doink. The funny thing is, on the previous attempt, Parky made a good kick, but the Eagles called timeout just before the snap. Oh, they so I the still... field goal was called back. And Bears head coach Matt Nagy's reaction to the doink itself was absolutely priceless. damn. They they iced him. Number damn. Eight, Tony Romo fumbles the snap. Oh, damn! I forgot about Tony to Romo. Previous entry, the Dallas Cowboys needed a field goal to win the NFC Wild Card game back in 2007. There are no doinks to be found here, however, as the ball never got off the ground. That's because Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo mishandled the snap during a 19-yard attempt. 19-yard field goal attempt. Oh, it is fumbled by Romo. <laughs> Damn, Romo ass. We get this gem of a play instead, where Romo frantically tried to run the ball into the end zone. Damn, Cowboy fans, I, I don't feel sorry. I, I kind of feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you. In the playoffs, your whole season comes down to that. Damn, amazing. And you know, one of the crazy things about this sport and he is almost that made it to the first down. If you're a regular quarterback, you almost never are the holder. Number seven, no Leon. When you hear the name Leon Lett, your mind might jump to his blunder in Super Bowl 27, where he almost scored a touchdown, but got caught showboating instead. It's a fumble! It's a fumble! Touchdown. While we were tempted to choose that play, it didn't have much of an impact on the game itself, and Dallas went on to win and became Super Bowl champs. Flash forward to a snowy Thanksgiving Day game against the Miami Dolphins, where the Cowboys were on the verge of winning after blocking a kick attempt. 
The celebrations even started on the sideline in anticipation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was in the end zone? No one covered it, and Miami did. That could be a touchdown if Miami has covered it. However, good old Leon was back to his old ways and came barreling out of nowhere towards the ball, allowing Miami to recover it for a chance at another field goal. It's Leon left. No! The kick was good. Miami went on to win the game 16-14. Way to go, Leon. Leon, you need your ass whooped, bruh. You need your ass whooped, bruh. Leon, you need your ass whooped, bruh. <laughs> Leon, you need your ass whooped, bruh. Come on, dog. Dirty bitch! Damn! Really, nigga? Oh my god, bro. Come on, Leon, dog. Huh? Come on, dog. You can't be doing that, dog. Come on, dog. What kind of shit is that, dog? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> Leave me alone! Ah! Akira! Sixteen ah! fourteen. Game over. Number six, Garrow's gaff. It's never a good sign when a gaff is named after you. When Garo Yapremian's field goal attempt is blocked in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl VII, he's able to recover the ball, but instead of just falling on it, he throws it. Only, he doesn't. He whiffs on the ball so hard, it bounces off his arm straight into the hands of Washington's Mike Bass, who takes it for a touchdown. Picked off by the Redskins, Mike Bass, down the sidelines. Trash. That has to be, I'll be mad doubt, too. one of the saddest attempts of all time. I need to get, I need to get my Ron Simmons. Miami's undefeated Damn. season. So imagine Damn. squandering Damn. that historical feat on that Damn. kind of non-throw. Suddenly Washington is right back in the ball game. It's 14-7 with plenty of time remaining. Fortunately for the Dolphins, that did not occur. And their undefeated season remained intact, despite Garrow's gaff. Don Shula and the Miami Dolphins, undefeated champions of the world. Number five, the River City Relay. Dante Stallworth catches it, stays in bounds. He's going to have to Run. score on this one, and he's got a chance. Run. Everyone loves a good relay. Ever since the Cal Bears ran the play for a dramatic come from behind win, many teams have tried to do the same. Hey, yo, hey, yo, interference. Parts, making it super risky to run. The Saints, by some miracle, were able to pull it off and score a touchdown. Back to McAllister. Still alive. Oh, and they got oh my it. God. Jerome Payton with the catch. He dives into the end zone for the touchdown. All that the Saints needed was to successfully kick the extra point to tie the game with no time on the clock and keep their playoff hopes alive. But the miraculous finish was not to be, as kicker John Carney missed wide right. Here's Mitch Berger, the holder. And he, he missed, missed it. it. Can you believe that finish? A cruel twist of fate dashed New Orleans' what hope kind of, of capitalizing that? on their amazing play. Now that's a fail. Number four, the miracle at the Meadowlands. With 30 seconds left in the game and leading 17-13 against the Philadelphia Eagles, it seemed like a surefire win for the New York Giants. Seemingly unprepared for the snap, New York quarterback Joe Pisarczyk proceeds to fumble the football, allowing Herman Edwards to scoop it up and return it for a touchdown and the win. Here's a free fly, I don't believe it! The Eagles pick it up and Herman Edwards runs it in for a touchdown! An incredible development! No one could believe what they just saw. If the Giants simply went into victory formation, they would have run out the clock. Absolutely unbelievable. He, Zaka and Pizarczyk missed the connection. The ball hops up on the one hop to Herman Edwards. He's in a got an open lane right into the end zone with 20 seconds left while the Giants are running out the game. Oh my Long God! The, the offensive wow. fired the next day while head coach John McVay was let go at the end of the season. However, 
Much to the chagrin of Giants fans, this wouldn't be the last time the Eagles pulled off a miracle on them. Deshaun Jackson gets a block! Are you kidding? Deshaun Jackson still not in and now in for the touchdown, no flags. Unbelievable! Number three, Jim Marshall runs the wrong way. Oh, this Imagine is bad. Imagine this field to pick up a fumble. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad, dawg. This is bad, bad. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. This, today, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. This is bad. This is very, Stay very bad. bad. This is bad right here. The end zone and score a touchdown. Triumphant, you look back at your teammates, only to find that you're in your own end zone and you and didn't score a touchdown, but a safety. That's what happened to Jim Marshall idiot. in the 1964 game against the San Francisco 49ers. Marshall is running the wrong way. And he's running it into the end zone the wrong way. Thinks he scored a touchdown. He has scored a safety. He was even congratulated by an opposing player. Fortunately, the Vikings were still able to come away with the win. Still, it's something embarrassing to have happened at the highest level of football. To see that How? Hold on. replayed over How? and over and over. Thinks he scored a touchdown. It, it's painful to watch. Marshall did, however, receive a letter following the error from Roy Regals, who was involved in a similar play during the 1929 Rose Bowl. The letter read, Welcome to the club. Number what? two. The Colts swinging gate play. What the fuck? Where do we even begin with this one? The Colts claimed they were trying to confuse the New England Patriots with a fake punt and catch them either offside or with too many men on the field. Right. Maybe it could have worked if they executed really quickly, but that didn't happen. He'll snap it. Actually, Colt Anderson is behind him. And that, what in the world? The Patriots even seemed a bit confused, but they still understood what was happening and surrounded the two Colts players by the ball. No one should have been surprised at the outcome when the ball snapped. I mean, you got a guy on either side of him. What are you doing here? I mean, they don't even try to run a play. On top of the embarrassment of having tried that play, the Colts also received a penalty for illegal formation. What was the plan? Hold on, 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 hold on,
Jets quarterback Mark Sanchez runs into the butt of his teammate, fumbling the ball in the process. Even worse for the Jets, the Patriots are able to recover the fumble for touchdown. This shit means something to me, man. The ball is loose and it's alive. And then going into the end zone is Steve Gregory, who's had an interception, two fumble recoveries, oh and a touchdown. Gosh. So much, yet simultaneously so little happens on this play <laughs> <and> bears repeating. <laughs> a grown man paid to play the game of professional football at the highest level runs into the posterior of another man paid to play the game of professional football. Mark Sanchez not expecting it, and it was the backside of Brandon Moore that knocked the ball out. Sometimes it really is that simple. You can't make this stuff up, even if you tried. I think the play was a microcosm of Mark Sanchez's career. He ultimately never mastered the most important element of playing quarterback in the NFL, ball security. Just a reminder, if you can't get enough sports, head yeah, 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 whatever, nigga, we don't care. Anyway, so let's just go about doing most definitely the butt fumble got to be number one. That is the most hilarious shit I've ever seen. Bloated on Thanksgiving, bloated on Thanksgiving and bust out. I, I can't tell y'all when that happened on Thanksgiving, nigga, I was bloated. I ate good on Thanksgiving that day. And I bust out laughing, nigga. The next thing I know, I was in the bathroom for like 35, 45 minutes. Yeah. So anyway, so that's just going to about do it for this one, man. I will see you all in the next video. Most definitely, these are some of the funniest fails. Tomorrow, tomorrow we should be getting... Um, tomorrow, we'll be getting some of the we're gonna be getting some football tomorrow so that's gonna be good uh i'm definitely gonna be here for that so yeah but anyways i'm uh, just gonna about do it for this one i'll see you on the next video till then peace out